Hello everybody. Today we are going to see integration of SAP inventory management and warehouse management. Export hardware. Okay. IM and W. The process is first I'm going to create a material with the warehouse and I'm going to create a purchase order. ME21N is the transaction code. And then I'm going to do goods receipt in MIGO transaction code. And on upon creating the upon doing the goods reserve, recipting of the material, a transfer request will be created on the background. TR will be created on the background as per the warehouse side. Okay. Upon creation of the transfer request, I create a transfer order and confirm the transfer order in LT12 transaction code. Finally, I'm going to check the inventory in LX03 from warehouse side and MMPE from inventory management. Let's go to let's go to live system. I'm going to create a material. MM0 is my transaction for creating a material. Go to mechanical engineering. This is my raw material. Okay. Select views. Go to select views. Okay. Scroll down. I'm going to select varos also. Varos is here. Varos. But for that, everything is same. Here. Basic data one, two, basic data two, purchasing MRP one and general plant data storage one, general plant data storage two, varos management one, varos management two, and accounting. And go to organizational levels. Plant is VF01. Storage location VF01. Warehouse is VF1. Storage type is V01. Storage type. Continue. Okay. Warehouse material. WM material. Let me create it as WM material. Each. MRP type, no MRP. ND. Whichever it is asking, you can enter. Press enter. 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 So, quantity is 10 quantity each in one box. E1 box. Press enter. Valuation class. Select the valuation class. Retho. Save it. Six zero six three three seven three seven and my six zero six three seven three seven three seven is my meter and my vendor is nine double zero double two seven. So if you want to know how to create a vendor, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link how to create a vendor. Okay, now let's go to I'm going to create a purchase order. ME 21 yen. Double nine nine double zero two double seven is my vendor. VF01 is my purchase organization, purchase sync group. Enter the purchase sync group. Now let me enter the material. 60637 is my material. Enter quantity, 10 quantity, net price, 1,100 rupees. Plant is VF01. Storage location is VF01. And save it. Let me save this. Save it. Let me take this purchase order number. Let me copy this purchase order number. Open the... PO. Go to I'm going to do we go slash and MIG. MIG. I'm going to do goods reserve. I'm going to inbound the material. Select goods reserve. Purchase order. Enter the purchase order number here. Press enter. Okay. Scroll down. Let me do item OK and post. Item OK and post. Okay, let's go to display material document. Display material document. 
press enter. This is a material document which has been created. Now I have created that material document. Go to LE WM. See, this is my TR number, transfer request number. Transfer request number, TR number. TR. Okay. Now the material is in storage bin. This is a temporary storage bin. This is temporary storage bin. And this is the storage type. This is also temporary storage type. Now I'm going to confirm it and put it in the, I'm going to confirm the material and put it in the final bin. Okay. Let's go to slash and LT04. Varus okay. number. TR number is this number. 1049. 1049. You don't have to do anything here. Just 10 number, 10 quantity. I'm going to place it. I'm going to create a TO, transfer request. Save it. Transfer order. Sorry, I'm going to create a transfer order. And my destination bin is B01. B0. Press enter. Okay. So now I have created transfer order. TO, transfer order 1051. Okay. Now I'm going to confirm it in the final bit. Slash in LT12. LT12 is my trans confirmation of the transfer order. See, this is my transport number. Press enter. Okay. Now, see, it will be in the final bin. It will be confirmed. The material will be confirmed in the final bin. So, this material will be in this bin. Okay. This is my material and it will be in this bin. Final bin. Final destination bin. Okay. All the 10. All the 10, I am going to confirm it in this bin. Okay. Now, let me save this. I have confirmed the transfer order. Now go to LX03 to check the bin status. B01 is my storage type. My Varos is BF01. Let me execute this. Execute this. Scroll down. Let me scroll down and check. CF08. CF, this is my material. This is my material. Let's come here. Let me click on to this. Let me click on to this. See here. 10 quantity has come. 10 quantity has come. To this bin. Bin is this. Okay. Now let me check the MMB inventory also. From MM side. This is from WM side and this is from MM side, material management side, inventory management side. MMB execute. See here, 10 material has arrived to this storage. But in this storage location, but where is the pin? It will be in this pin. It will be in this pin. In this pin. Okay. From the warehouse, it will be in gas. That way. Let's go to slash and LX03 again. Let's be specific. Bin specific search. Execute. See if it has come here. This is what is the integration between IM and W. Thank you.